Enrolling your employees in sexual harassment training is easy here on Greater Commons. My name is Todd McLeod. I'm one of the founders of Greater Commons and a small business owner here in California. Uh, to enroll your employees in our sexual harassment training at Greater Commons, first thing you need to do is create an account. So in the top right corner of the website, you have a create account. So you click that button and you could use any of these buttons here to create an account, or you can enter your information over on the right, except that you're 16 years of age or older and then hit continue. I already have an account, so I'm going to click log in here and log in with my account. That's step one, create an account, get logged into Greater Commons. Step two is to create a Teams area. A team is any organization of people. It could be your business, it could be your church, it could be a club, it could be your family. It's one individual wanting to assign trainings, track progress, and pay for the trainings of many other individuals. That's a team. So to create a team, you go to your top right corner and you hover over your icon, you go to My Teams. If you've never created a team before, you will see Create New Team or About Teams. So you can learn more about teams at the About Teams area, or you could go straight to Create New Team, which is what we're gonna do here. So I click on Create New Team. I'm gonna enter a name for my team. So I might enter, uh, this is the hard part, Turtle Surf Peanut Butter Jam. <laughs> and down here I'm gonna enter emails. I don't know what that says about my subconscious. So I'm gonna do uh, test 22 as one email. And uh, I can select a role, say this person's a member of a team, not a manager, not an admin. There's different roles here that you can assign and you could click on this in this format shown here. You could click right there to read about those roles. So member only can view other members, a manager can view members, assign trainings, view trainings, and an admin can do all of these permissions right here. So I'm going to just assign member to this individual and then click that button to add them to my list. I could also upload a CSV file of all of my employees' emails and the permissions that I wanna to give to them. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. To do that, you also click in the format shown right here, and here's what the format needs to look like. So just like that in a CSV file. It's gonna have the, sam the email, comma, and then their role. And uh, I have an Excel spreadsheet here. So in this column, I have all the emails. In this column, I have all the roles. So once I have all the emails and once I have their roles, I'm gonna go to File and choose Save As in Microsoft Excel. And I'm gonna save this to this PC and to the desktop. And I'm gonna save it as a CSV file, comma delimited right there. And uh, I'll just put this as Enroll. And I'll put this on my desktop. Save it, and so those are all saved. Do you wanna use that CSV format? I do, now I'm gonna upload this file. I'm gonna to go to my desktop and get Enroll, and it just uploaded all those other people right here. So now I'm ready, I could change these permissions if I want, but now I'm ready to click Save. So I've now created a team and uploaded all of my members. These members will receive an email saying you've been invited to join this team and, uh, and in t they're, they're right now they're pending members. When they've accepted the invitation and created an account, created an account on Greater Commons, they will no longer be pen pending members, they will be active members. And so I could still assign trainings to them. So I'm gonna go to assign trainings, and then for assign trainings, I need the course URL. So I'm gonna go to Greater Commons homepage, and I'll just do that by going to Greater Commons. I'm gonna get the URL of the course I wanna assign, and uh, that sexual harassment course, let's say I'm gonna assign these, this sexual harassment training to all the employees. And I'm gonna click in right there, and that's gonna be it. And I'm gonna say, what date do I want this to be due? I could leave blank for none, or I can assign a due date. And this is gonna go to all the members. So the managers and the admins have to do the two hour training. The normal sexual harassment training, the one hour training will be uh, you know, for all members, all regular employees. Right, so I'm just gonna, not the manager, not the admin, not the admin owner for those. So I'm gonna assign those trainings. So now that assigning is, uh, that training has been assigned and it's asking me for payment, so I then pay for those courses for those employees. So that's how you create an account, that's how you create a team, and then that's how you assign trainings 
to all of your employees. And then once they're all assigned, you could go in and you could track the training progress here in the Teams area. Super easy, takes about five or 10 minutes, and then you'll be in compliance with the law. It's really great training. More importantly, your employees will be more educated about how to conduct themselves skillfully in the workplace so that they will, and you will as a business, avoid potential legal liabilities that come from employees conducting themselves unskillfully. So it's a great thing about having your employees trained. You're protecting yourself more as a, as a business and, and limiting any potential liability. Thank you for using Greater Commons. If you have any questions, we're here to help. Just contact us. <laughs> have a great day.